It's now legal to smoke and have in your possession 30 grams and under of cannabis. This, as the Dangerous Drugs Act, takes effect from today. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service is advising the public, however, that under the Dangerous Drugs Amendment Bill 2019, you can smoke cannabis less than 30 grams, you can grow four cannabis, cannabis plants of any gender, and you can have less than five grams of cannabis resin. Smoking cannabis in public places of business and or around the school, however, is prohibited and is liable on summary conviction to a fine of $250,000 and imprisonment for five years. Anyone who cultivates or has in their possession more than four growing plants commits an offense and is liable to a summary conviction to a fine of $50,000. Well, the People's National Movement Youth League is in full support of what it deemed the transformative piece of legislation regarding the decriminalization of marijuana in Trinidad and Tobago. In a release, the PNM Youth League said, Today, people will receive a unique gift of liberation as cultural and religious freedom is recognized through the, through the will of a strong government. The Youth League said decriminalizing small amounts of marijuana has sent a clear message of government's approach to reforming the justice system to a more efficient and reliable one. The PNM Youth League said cannabis is a feature that has plagued and clogged the criminal justice system for too long and the decriminalization allows for greater sensitization and balanced public education on marijuana usage. It also paves the way for added public health benefits and the later creation of new jobs. Well, Police Commissioner Gary Griffith says it's not uncommon to encounter issues when implementing change. The commissioner was referring to concerns raised by members of the public on the heels of the proclamation of the cannabis law. One of the issues raised questioned methods to be employed by members of the police service to determine accurately the quantity of marijuana a person has in their possession. Mr. Griffith told TTT News the police service is due to launch a series of public awareness campaigns regarding this and other matters surrounding the cannabis law. With anything with change, there, there would be hiccups. What I'm doing um, as the commissioner of police, um, the public um, would be made aware very shortly. We are, push, we are pumping a massive public awareness campaign explaining to the public the do's and the don'ts. It is not a, a case that the, anyone could smoke what they want, how much they want, wherever they want. Uh, it is, that is not the case. So, well, he was speaking on Sunday when he and his wife, Nicole Dyer Griffith, won hand to witness the handover of the decorated St. Joseph Police Station. For the first time ever, police stations throughout the country have been decorated for the Christmas season. The commissioner said the initiative is geared towards creating a sense of pride within both the police service and communities across the country. There's a saying that the police is the public, the public is the police. And by doing this, it bridges the gap between the public and the police service. The police service and these stations, it is part of the community. So by doing this now, it allows the community to interact much more with the police uh, officers in, the, in their respective divisions.